that, of course, they're referring to as Bookie Monster. As mentioned in this morning's announcements, a few habit types are already sold out. I believe it's type M and double M from the interiors, mm. and the SQ and SZ Swissesses from the signature classes, but feel free to continue to take care of those. Uh, a reminder, there is no flash photography during the concerts, please. Uh, we saw a little bit of that last night. I uh, don't remember the which show. It's probably the red team, because you guys are all obedient. Yeah. 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 If only because it doesn't really work. Uh, a very important note uh, regarding scheduling. Friday's dinner and final concerts are going to be shifted half an hour later each. So dinner and the concert will be at 5, well, your concert on Friday will be 5.30 instead of 5, and then dinner will be 7.30. The reason is because all of the weights and dining staff are working on Half Moon Key while we're there, and they need enough time to get back, eat a meal themselves, and set properly for dinner, so. And so the, the, the closing reception will still be at 10, but uh, everything else will be, uh, those, those two items will be moved later. Also, a couple new office hours. Ursula Vernon will have office hours um, tomorrow at 3.30 in the Pinnacle Bar right after her signing. And little Janet Bernie uh, will have office hours at 2 p.m. immediately following her JV Club podcast in BB Kings, which is the same place that podcast is. Uh, so those are yet more new items. And that concludes the morning announcements. Now, as you can see, the stage is set up for rock. And there is going to be plenty of rock. But as you may remember from your sked, I don't remember if tonight is the uh, cool surprise or the neat unexpected thing. <laughs> In either event, whichever it is tonight, let's call it the unexpected thing because uh, it is unexpected because we didn't know we were going to do it until about a week before the cruise. You are going to see 
in the, a staged live radio style reading of an unproduced script by John Scalzi. And so to give you a little more context as to what you are about to see, please welcome to the stage, John Scalzi. It's formal night. <laughs> so as many of you know, uh, in addition to everything else I, I do, uh, writer, uh, Joko photographer, manager of pets, and uh, six-headed guitars, uh, I also uh, occasionally work on a television show that is called uh, Love, Death, and Robots. In the first season, there was an episode that was called Three Robots, that featured three robots. How many of you have seen the three robots? Okay, so for those of you who have not, the idea behind the three robots is they are touring uh, post-apocalyptic cities after the humans are gone, and they look at various objects, uh, like a basketball, and a hamburger, and a, uh, a thermonuclear weapon, and try to guess what they are out of context. And eventually they're enslaved by cats, as, as we all inevitably will. There will be a new uh, episode in season three that's already been announced, so you'll get more of that. It's, I've already seen it, it's great. But what we have tonight is a script that I wrote that we did not produce, not because it's trash, I wouldn't do that to you, uh, but because if we produced it, it would cost half of their budget. But, thanks to the magical theater of the mind, we can present it to you. Now, one thing that's very important, because this is, uh, please do not record it. Please do not put it on the internet. The Netflix police will come and they will do things to you that they will not put in one of their documentaries. <laughs> so please, no recording of this. Now, uh, allow me to introduce this evening's three robot players. Jenny Kwan. 